Five years after the discovery of a pterosaur fossil, a PhD student in Australia noticed that it had been mislabeled and that it actually belonged to a rare dinosaur called Elephrosaurus. Here's what you need to know. Paleontologists at Australia Swinburne University of Technology discovered they had mistakenly identified a fossil as the bone of an ancient flying reptile called pterosaur, but it actually belonged to a rare dinosaur called Elaphrosaur. This is the first Elaphrosaur found in Australia. Citing Stephen Porapat, the lead author of the study, The Guardian reports that only three other Elephrosaur species have been found in Tanzania, China, and Argentina. The Elephrosaur was part of the theropod family, which includes predators like the Tyrannosaurus rex and Velociraptors. It was roughly as tall as a small emu and measures 2 meters from its head to the end of its tail. According to the research published in the journal Gondwana Research, the Elephrosaur the team discovered lived during the Cretaceous period. At this time, Australia's land was located in the Arctic Circle. Researchers believe that the Elephrosaurs may have lived in a habitat containing a diverse variety of plants and trees such as conifers, ginkgos, ferns, horsetails, conifers, and flowering plants. Sadly, researchers haven't been able to go back to the dig site where they discovered this fossil. You know, because of the deadly forest fires and global pandemic. However, Poor Pat told The Guardian that there is a high chance of finding more Elephrosaur bones. If you clicked on this video, we assume you're into dinosaurs. Well, how would you feel if we told you there is evidence of DNA from 5 million year old dinosaur fossils? Watch out, guys! Jurassic Park might very soon be a reality if this latest dino discovery is anything to go by. New research published in the National Science Review details how researchers from China and the US discovered DNA and other organic materials inside 75 million year old dinosaur fossils. Currently, DNA is thought to only last for around 1 million years. According to the Science China Press writing on Fizz.org, scientists made the discovery while investigating the skull fragments of Hypercrosaurus nestlings. In addition to the DNA, researchers also found proteins, chromosomes, and cartilage cells among the Hypercrosaurus fossils. According to the British Natural History Museum, these dinosaurs were herbivores and lived 70 million years ago in Canada and the USA during the late Cretaceous period. Researchers suggest that their findings could mean that DNA can exist longer than currently thought and may, in fact, be preserved in fossils that are millions of years old. You probably already know that an asteroid wiped out these gigantic creatures. However, did you know that it all had to do with the angle of impact? Researchers say they found another nail in the dinosaur's coffin. The asteroid that killed them off hit Earth at a very nasty angle. Scientists have determined the angle of impact for the asteroid that contributed to the dinosaur's extinction 66 million years ago, according to a study in Nature Communications. Writing on behalf of the researchers, Imperial College London says in a news release that the asteroid had struck at the deadliest possible angle for life on Earth. Using geological data from the Chicxulub crater in Mexico in a computer model, scientists calculated the space rock's angle of attack at 60 degrees. The asteroid with its steep impact angle reached sulfur, carbonates, and water deep in the Earth. The vapors and debris were flung into the atmosphere and triggered a nuclear winter that wiped out the dinosaurs. The researchers found asymmetries between the centers of the mountains inside the crater, the crater's physical center point, and the center of uplifted mantle 30 kilometers beneath the surface. Scientists then worked backward to model the asteroid's impact. But hey! Thanks for leaving the Earth to us, puny mammals! For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.